Hey folks, once again, I'm Ryan Shanahan. This is Leslie Riker, and welcome to Export Education. Today in our East Coast Swing Series, we'll be covering, what are we covering, Leslie? We're covering the windmill and the stop and go. Is that right already? Already then. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, getting right into it with our stop and go. Now, this is a, a very excellent pattern to know, and you use it in a variety of other dances as well. So getting used to it here in swing is probably the easiest one or the easiest uh, dance to learn it in and we can then apply it to other dances like the cha-cha or the salsa and uh, others as well. We'll start off with a rock step opening up on one, two. I'm going to sashay across shaping an inside turn for my partner. I'm keeping your right hand ready leads. Trip step. My right hand is going to catch my partner's shoulder blade. This is a good place to uh, provide her with a backstop. From here, I'm going to rock step again. Rock step, and she rock steps also. I'm going to send her back the way she came, so it's a stop and go. Just triple step and rock step. Now this is an eight count pattern, so watch out for the change in timing on this. Here we go with those counts. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one. Let's do that from the other side. Ready and a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Leaders, as you're shaping for this variation, you're bringing your partner for that inside turn. I want to be at a right angle to my partner. Send her back the way she came, but I also want to be loose with this hand connection. As she comes around for this turn, drop the arm low. Always return to the hip connection. The hips are the anatomical center of the body. From here, I can lead my partner. This becomes a connection to her hip and allows me to turn her and shape the direction that she's going to ultimately be turning to. Thank you. Moving right along, the next pattern I want to show you, I call it the windmill. Now there's lots of different names for these patterns. Maybe you have a different one. Let me show you what we'll do here. We're gonna to go to a shake hand hold. And again, we're going off count. You're gonna start seeing all of our patterns start to take on variations in the timing. For this count, we're going to do exclusively sachets uh, until the, the end. And so we'll start with a wind up. Rock, step, triple step, and triple step, a triple step, a triple step, triple step, triple step. Once more from the other side, starting with that wind up, rock, step, triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. Now a few points on this for the lead and the footwork. You're going to be turning yourself uh, a little bit at a time, about eighth of a turn on each, uh, on each sachet. Starting with that rock step, one, two. I'm turning my partner to face away from me. I'm turning to face my partner. So my left foot comes forward, her right foot comes across, and we sachet, triple step. I've got a connection to my partner's back now. I'm putting it here on her left shoulder blade is a good place again. And then we're unwind. So she turns to face me, I turn away. And she comes across with her left foot, I come through with my right foot. And triple step. Let's do that once again. We unwind back, triple step, and unwind again. I'm using this hand as my lever to bring her through and open up or close my partner. The other arm is out for styling and presentation. All right. Now, how do we get out of this pattern becomes the question. You have two options, starting with our first, we're going to move into an inside turn to get out of it. We'll start with the pattern. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. One, a two, three, and four. Five and six. 
Excellent. Okay, to do that, after I finished closing my partner toward me, so she comes across, she's got her hand on my back, I'm going to shape an inside turn. So I triple step with my left foot. Ladies, triple step with the right. I shape an inside turn. And we simply return to the side, dropping the hand back to a regular handhold. Now, your other alternative is a little simpler. Okay, alternatively, we're going to wind up, and, and we're not going to do a turn this time. I commence with the windmill, and then simply return to a left to right hand hold when you're ready. The best place for that is this is, as your partner is facing out, simply sashay back to the side with her to join her and pass the hand back to your left and this ends the action. We are Ryan and Leslie. You just watched the East Coast Swing, Stop and Go and the Windmill. This is Rex for Education. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. You guys all have a good one.